1991 or 1992 when President George Herbert Walker Bush decided that Clarence Thomas would be his nominee for the Supreme Court, there was a lot of drama regarding whether Clarence Thomas should be confirmed based on the accusations of Anita Hill. And Anita Hill's accusations were that Clarence Thomas was a sexual harasser when he was working at the EEOC, and that these reasons should be the ones why your Clarence Thomas should not be confirmed as a Supreme Court Justice. There were several hearings on this matter where she went into detail talking about his Playboy magazines in the office, um, creating a hostile environment, jokes he made about soda cans and pubic hair, um, and other assorted ish things that he did that created a hostile environment in that workplace. And when I think about that case, I fast forward to about 2013 or 2014 when the television show Scandal hit the air. And on this show, we have Olivia Pope, who works in Washington, being the side piece to the President of the United States. And when we look at the two cases, we see clearly the hypocrisy of some of these Afro-American Negro women. In the case of Clarence Thomas, it's called sexual harassment and considered a reason for not confirming this man to the Supreme Court. They don't look at his work record, they don't look at his track record as a justice. They use this as the core of their argument for saying why your Clarence Thomas should not be a Supreme Court justice. However, on the same coin, these same females will sit there and say, it's okay for Olivia Pope to be participating in an adulterous relationship with the President of the United States on scandal. Now, some people will sit there and say that one is fact and the other is fiction, but when we look at the moral standard of the females, we see the hypocrisy in their statement. Because these same females who were sitting there saying that Clarence Thomas should not be confirmed as a Supreme Court Justice on a moral standard are almost the, are the mothers who raised the daughters and, and some of them are actually watching this scandal show and making this the reason and justifying every reason for watching this show and justifying the relationship that Olivia Pope is having with the President of the United States, this adulterous affair. And that, again, is hypocri hypocrisy, because how can you say it's immoral for Clarence Thomas to not be a Supreme Court justice, but it's okay for Olivia Pope to be in an adulterous relationship with the President of the United States, and sit there and watch this show and plan parties around this show and celebrate this show, but at the same time will demonize your Justice Clarence Thomas. In the eyes of most of these Afro-American Negroes, Clarence Thomas is the worst thing since Satan. And the only reason why they believe Clarence Thomas is the worst thing since Satan is because he does not follow the narrative of your white liberals, he doesn't follow the policies of your white liberals, and he has a different viewpoint than the standard that every Afro-American Negro believes they have to conform to. So those are their reasons for not liking your Clarence Thomas. And your Afro-American Negro women, they don't like your Clarence Thomas because he is married to a white female. And that's hypocritical too because when you think about it, because your Clarence Thomas is married to this white female, he's been married to this woman for years, however, these same Afro-American Negro women who are mad at Clarence Thomas for being married to this white woman are sitting here lusting after a white man and talking about their favorite show, which features a black woman who wants to be in an adulterous relationship as a side piece to a white man. They're mad at Clarence Thomas for being in a marriage, but it's okay for them to commit adultery. And it's not right for them to do that because how can you say that this man is so bad for this job based on your views of him and because he has a difference of opinion, different viewpoints and different ideas, but it's okay for you to have these to be all a big fan of this show featuring a black woman participating in an immoral relationship. This is clearly a double standard as I see it when it comes down to these two situations. 
Yes, I know that they're, the one is fact and the other is fiction. But when you look at both scenarios, they show you how backwards many of these Afro-American Negroes truly are. And how they are pretty much will only follow whatever your white liberals tell them to do. Your white liberals tell you that Scandal is a perfectly fine show, so the Afro-American Negroes go along with this show, they praise this show, they support this show. Conservatives come out and say that they want Justice Clarence Thomas for the Supreme Court. Your Afro-American Negroes pretty much demonize this man and call him a monster, but it shows you how pretty much brainwashed your Afro-American Negroes are by your white liberals, because your white liberals can present the same situation to your Afro-American Negroes, but your Afro-American Negroes um, as, as your conservative, and based on the morals, the Afro-American Negroes will go right along with your white liberals, no matter what they say, no matter what it is, and they don't form an opinion of their own or a consensus of their own regarding the facts. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.